Hey, y'all, this is Renee with Two Chatty Chicks, and yes, I'm late, but oh well, what can I say? I <laughs> uh, had a little technical difficulty here, and I am going to um, let me see if I can switch over to my page. If I can't, I won't be able to answer questions because I can't see them on my phone. Okay. And that'll take just a little bit to get it up. But um, anyway, what we're doing today is we are taking, and it's hard for me to say ugly, ugly duckling, but we're gonna take this cabinet and we're gonna make it into something really pretty. And I am gonna start from the beginning and I won't get it done today. This is gonna be maybe a three day process, but sometimes it's good to start at the beginning so that you can see the complete prep work that really needs to be done on a piece before you start uh, because it's really important because your foundation is what is going to uh, create your uh, your finish to last you know you don't want to do all this hard work and your piece is beautiful and then it start flaking off or it gets scratches and stuff like that so we this let me turn this down just a little bit where you can kind of see see it really is in dire need of some really um, good prep work <laughs> So what I've done is I've went ahead and I've sanded already because I didn't feel that y'all needed to see that. And But I will show you what I use. And I always use an orbital sander and I use 220 grit. And this one has a variable speed and I usually keep it on about four. And it always does uh, really well. And I like the orbital sander because if you use the diamond shaped ones, they leave the squiggly marks and I don't like that. And if you're uh, going to be just painting, it's going to show. So always keep that in mind or you can hand sand it um, just by hand. And I'm not really sanding a lot. I just wanted to, because this one was really dirty in areas, I just really wanted to kind of give it just a little tooth. So that was the reason for that. And then I always take, which I have already done, but I'll do it again where y'all can see. As you can see, I started, I started cleaning it already. And I use 50-50 vinegar and water. And I usually will just kind of just spray it on the whole piece. And uh, this, this side I haven't done, but I'll clean it really well. I'll let it dry. Normally I'll do that twice. And then um, I used Miss Lillian's first step. Y'all, I was so impressed the first time I used this. I was doing a set of cabinets in a veranda. And um, it just happened to be in my bucket and I hadn't used it yet. And I thought, you know, I've already cleaned these twice and then I've rinsed it with water twice. And I thought, well, let's see. Well, to my amazement, you would not believe how much it took off. And I'm going to show y'all here as well. Now I've already cleaned, I've already sanded the top and cleaned it. And what I'm going to do is you can see this is clean. Okay. And you just spray it on a cotton rag or washcloth. That's what I use. And you want to go in circular motions. And what, look at that. Is that not amazing? That is just that's grit and dirt. So I always will use the vinegar and water first, usually maybe twice, and um, then I use the first step. It's really a fantastic product. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole top because I haven't used it yet on the top because I did want y'all to see. And this is not going to get just um, just paint. I am going to, Kathy, my friend, uh, Kathy Stoltzberry from Mountain Home, she has uh, reimagined surfaces and we get together a lot and do videos together and um, we created a finish uh, that we called Sophisticated Silk and it's kind of like a linen finish but we're going to be using Miss Lillian's um, Texture Magic mixed in with paint 
and then we are, oh, I know. Hey, y'all, I can see some names up there. Hey, Candy. Hey, Mary. Um, I can't see who else is on. The computer's a little slow this morning. But we're going to take Texture Magic, and we are going to add a little bit of paint into it for the color. And we're going to put it on, and then you're going to be shocked at what I use to run through the... Uh, Texture Magic once we get it on. We're going to roll it on with a whiz roller. We probably won't get that far today uh, because I'm probably only going to be on here for about 30 minutes, but I really wanted to start from the beginning to show you how important your prep work is. Um, I really stress that in all my classes. Um, but let me turn this over again so that y'all can see. And again, I'm just going to wet it Okay, I really like the way this is set up here today. I was kind of worried about how I was going to get it to, because I'm so used to doing everything at the house, but this piece was here, and I thought, well, what better way I would just do it here. See, isn't that something? So I'm probably going to do it again, and, I kinda let, and it doesn't take long for it to dry because you're not using a whole lot. But this is the first step. Hey, Becky Wisdom. My goodness, how are you doing? And if y'all have any questions, just let me know. I probably won't be able to answer them until I get home, but I will. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm going to pull this over here so that y'all can see this up close and personal, y'all. Okay, I want you to watch right here. You see this grime right here? And I'm not kidding. I have sanded it with 220 grit sandpaper. I have used vinegar and water twice. And since this is really seemed to have a lot of grit, I'm actually going to spray it on the surface. And then I'm going to use my rag and I'm going to do circular. Look at that. How much that took off is that not unreal let me get back here so that you can see wow that way i know that there's no oils uh just from um like your um pledge and stuff like that i and hand prints um I know that it's going to take all that off, and I know my paint's going to stick. And I am probably going to go ahead and use uh, Miss Lillian's Swamp Mud, which is a primer, um, as a precaution. Anytime I'm not exactly sure or there is a question, I'm going to use the Swamp Mud. And I'm going to be using the Off-White today. I forget which way to go. <laughs> But this is the off-white swamp mud, and that's what I'm going to be using first. And whenever you're applying the swamp mud, I am going to be using just a chip brush today. Uh, because this is not going to be a smooth finish, uh, especially once I put the Texture Magic on. And I'm not going to slip up and tell you what I'm going to run through the Texture Magic once I get it on. You're going to have to come back and watch again. Um, and press and seal. Love that stuff. So, normally I use just a paper plate, but I forgot them. So, uh, I did happen to have some press and seal, and I pour my product into the whatever out of my uh, container because I don't want to be sticking it back in and contaminate it. So, that's why I do that. And let me finish. I'm, I've got a couple of other spots here that I want to clean on this top. And then I will go ahead. Y'all, that is just amazing. And this piece, um, Ann, the owner of Midtown, this was her mom's. And uh, she was an artist, and she kept all of her art stuff in it. And she asked me if I would like to uh, make it pretty again. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make it really pretty today. Not today, but whenever I'm through with it anyway. 
but this is probably going to take a couple of days. I don't know. I might be able to get it finished between today and tomorrow. And the doors. I am, this is the doors. And I'm probably going to take them home and work on them at home. But you know what? I'm keeping the hardware. I love this hardware. Um, what I may do is I'm, this is what my mama had in her kitchen. Um, and I still have some of hers from the kitchen. Um, is I'm probably going to just use Miss Lillian's Gilding Jewels on these. I don't think I'm even going to spray paint them. Um, I'm probably going to leave them this color and then just use the Gilding Jewels. And I'll show y'all how, how I do that. And I really hope I don't get the hiccups. Okay, I think we're good on the top. And whenever you're applying either your, it doesn't make any difference what you're applying, um, I always teach less is more. For one, a lot of people think that they have to dip that brush way down in the paint, and you don't. Um, normally, I usually wet my brushes before I use them, and then I take a towel and just squeeze the water out, and that keeps the water from getting, uh, or the paint from getting in up in your ferrule. Hey, Patty, how are you today? Um, girl, I love your booth. It's totally awesome. Very cool. I'm going to come by and see you, and we have got to get together and have lunch. Um, but for, and two, it doesn't take as long for it to dry, and people will tend to put on a first coat and then they're gonna come back. Uh, oh, you had the same hardware, I know, I love it. <laughs> um, and they try to speed up the process, but people don't realize that if you're gonna be putting on a primer, then you're gonna put on two coats, some people put on three coats, and then you're gonna do a glaze, and then you're gonna do a top coat. That is a lot of product on one piece of furniture and people think that just because it's dry that it's okay but it's not there's a difference between dry and cure time and it's really important that you understand it takes paint 30 days to cure so and that's like whenever I sell a piece I'll put a little tag on it and let them know you know uh, <clears throat> to be careful what they use to clean it with. Don't set anything with water or a cup or anything like that for at least 30 days. And even yet, still use something underneath that glass or cup. But anyway, uh, since this is going to be a rough finish, and uh, let me turn this to where y'all can see. And I'm not going to make it very thick. I'm just, I just want to even coat. And again, that right there is all I put on my brush. And and I took the molding off on the sides. Uh, I'm probably going to buy new molding to put on. And the reason for the uh, Texture Magic is like, I don't know if I should, but see this here. This is a spot, and then I took all, there is, uh, on the edges, I don't know if y'all can see that from the way that, but you can kind of see how down at the very bottom, how that's rough, and it's not coming up, but I thought, you know what, this, that would really be a pretty finish to do the linen finish. Uh, Kathy and I called it, um, sophisticated, sophisticated. That's about as hard to say is ugly duckling. <laughs> Sophisticated finish. <laughs> Sophisticated raw silk. That's what it was. It takes me a minute. <laughs> but Kathy and I really uh, enjoy getting together. And right now she is, um, her mom is kind of ill. So if y'all would please keep her in your prayers. And, um, They would really appreciate that. In fact, we were going to get together this weekend and do some lives, but um, we're not going to do that this weekend. We may get together, but we're just going to kind of postpone and do that later. But I want to go by and visit with her and her mom for a little bit. But as you can see, you can still see 
that's that's good enough coverage for using the swamp mud which is the primer and whenever you're painting I try and teach everyone that you want to go in a like you like wood grain you want to start on one side and you want to go to the other side you don't want to do the moon motions okay you want to keep even strokes and if you do your arm and you go back and forth just like that and keep it in a in a smooth motion you won't get that but one coat of the swamp mud is all I'm gonna put on and she has um, the red the off-white the brown the gray and the black I had to look <laughs> so it's really great I really do like swamp mud. And I use swamp mud on glass, on metal. Um, we've done quite a few classes with uh, doing uh, uh, jugs and bottles. But see, I am not putting much paint on my brush. I'm kind of just going to the edge like that and I'm pulling it out. And that's all I need. I don't need much at all. And you know what? Dry time, it uh, really minimizes. Oh, I'm using words that are hard for me to say. The ugly duckling is, is really the hard one. <laughs> because that's what I'm calling this piece. The ugly duckling that's going to turn into a prince. Or a princess, either one. Now see how quick that was? The top is already done. And so I would just come down and like even though going this away, that's probably going to hit that edge up there. I'm just gonna come back and lightly hit it just like that. And that will smooth all of that brush marks out and it'll be just fine. And I've already cleaned all of this. And you always want to make sure that you get up underneath all of your edges. It's very important. In fact, I would probably say 99% of the time I always finish the back as well. Hey, there's my buddy Sandra Schmidt. What are you doing today? And I can't see... I guess I could fix my computer, but it's running a little slow because I can't tell if. And if y'all, um, I'm coming back, y'all. Um, if y'all want to see kind of the finish that I'm going for, I created an event for uh, what I'm doing today. And you can see the piece that Kathy and I did together. And that right there is not gonna matter at all whenever, I, whenever I'm through. And again, you can see I am not using much paint at all. And you know what, tomorrow, I think I will have her or him or whatever, I'll have it ready to do the texture magic and my special tool that I'm uh, gonna use But if y'all want to know, you got to come back. See, I'm not going to tell you. All right, y'all. Um, that didn't take as long as what I thought. And I hope y'all can't see back here. Because if you can see back here, then you'll know exactly what I'm going to be using. <laughs> so, Getting ready to visit Lowe's. Oh, you're going to go and get your stuff, huh? <laughs> I understand that well. It's bitterly cold out there. This, But you know what? I'm not going to complain because, oh my gosh, I don't see how those people stand to live where it's all that cold and all that snow and ice. I just can't do that. I just, um, I'm glad Lisa's moving back too. So 
she don't like the cold either. So, Lisa, whenever you see this, we're thinking about you. <laughs> so, okay. Um, oh, and let me show you some of the what I'm going to be using. Y'all already know Texture Magic. And I think I'm going to be using Antique White in with the Texture Magic. And... As usual, I can't, um, oh, see, that's already dry enough. I can set this on there. Isn't that super? Yes. Um, I'm going to be using uh, Miss Lynn's Metallic Glaze. Come back when? Well, I think she's got to sell her house um, where she's at, and then I think she's coming back. So she said she really is having a hard time with the cold. So... Uh, I'm really glad she's coming back. Um, I keep losing you with your <laughs> with your internet service. I know. Well, I won't say what I would do. I'd probably throw my phone. But um, I'm going to be using the metallic glaze once the texture magic and the process is dry. And I'm thinking, actually, um, the metallic glaze. And y'all, oh, there's Lisa. We, Lisa, we were talking about you. <laughs> Um, this one is crystal blue, and I had a little bit of pearl in another one, and I mixed the two together, so I can't decide. Once I get through, y'all will see, isn't that pretty? Mm. So, I can't decide if I want to use that and the silver or the gold and the pearl. I can't decide. So we'll have to decide that later. Oh, Candy, I'm sorry you lost me too. Dadgummit. Hey, Alice, how are you? But anyway, this is what I'm going to be using after I get the uh, Texture Magic on and my whipper snapper tool that I'm going to be using, but I'm not going to tell you. Uh, oh, you know what? I did think about making my own glaze by using the metallic bow peep. But I think I'm going to stick with either the crystal blue with the uh, pearl mixed in. Oh, no, to find out what you use. Uh, tomorrow, I am going to be up here tomorrow. And I'm, I'm going to finish painting it today. And then I'm going to come in tomorrow, probably around about the same time, about noon. I, I went live today about noon. And um, I'll, have, I'll show you how to, to mix it all up. And then what I'm going to use to pull through. <laughs> it was an old faux finishing technique we used to use. So, But um, anyway, that's what I'm going to use once the uh, Texture Magic dries. And I will probably, what is today? I don't know what today is. Hmm. Is it Tuesday? Anyway, it is. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and come back and finish putting the metallic glaze on before we leave to go to uh, Tecumseh, Missouri and a mountain home to see my sister-in-law and um, uh, Kathy. So, got here late. I know. I am painting a, we call it the ugly duckling. Let me scoot it back and I'll show you before I let get off. Okay. See, we're, it's the ugly duckling, and we're going to uh, turn it into a prince. And here are the doors that went on the front. Okay. And so I'm probably going to take the doors home. I don't know. I may do them here. But anyway, I'm keeping the hardware. I'm not changing the hardware. So... You're welcome, Becky. I appreciate you watching. And y'all, I do appreciate all of y'all stopping in and saying hello today. But um, I'm going to get off and I'm going to finish this so that I can have it ready for tomorrow. So I appreciate y'all. Bye. I see y'all later. And if y'all have any questions, just I'll answer them as soon as I get home. I know. I do. I do like to have fun. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Thank you.